I realized immediately, if I don't know this stuff, most people what? I don't know this stuff. I got all this education, and I, it, 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 it wasn't like I was sleeping in class. Mm. So they obviously not teaching this, and any other ed education I've had for the 23 years, 24 years, I've been getting education. They haven't taught any of this, right? Went to a great high school. I mean, great elementary school, great middle school, great high school, great undergrad, great, you know, master's degree program, even started working on a PhD, and I haven't learned it in any of that. Then where are they teaching if they're not teaching it in there, in any of those, right? So I get with primarily. First thing I saw was the, 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 the opportunity to really make a difference. Because how many have heard knowledge is power? Yes. Yeah. That's not true. You may have heard that, but that's not true. Yeah. 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 Applied knowledge is power. So not only do we give the knowledge, but we make it applicable to their everyday life in a way that they can understand. Guys, we take concepts that people are on TV, on MSNBC, and on C, uh, uh, CNBC, and they, they make it so what? Complicated. And they talk it over people's heads, and people can't understand it. Right? And when somebody doesn't understand something, then they feel what? <coughs> Intimidated. That's a nice way to put it. Right? They feel stupid. Or stupid. And then many times, they don't even like it because you talking about this, and I don't know anything about that, so I really don't even what? Like, I don't even want to know about it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right? And I don't know anyone else who what? Knows about it. Right? So that must be for somebody else to know. That's not for me to know. Wow. Does that make sense? And so watch what happens, guys. That's what somebody else knows. So nobody knows. around me what? Knows. So how, if they don't know better, they can't what? Yeah. They don't know better, they can't do better. They don't know better, they can't do better. They can't improve their situation, they can't improve themselves, right? And so we think about that and we understand that and we say, okay, how do we explain it? After a presentation with me, Ed, the person said, that's it? That's amazing. Rule of 72, we talk about it in the same terms that somebody gonna talk about it at the barbershop. And somebody gonna talk about it at the hairdresser. We make it just, it's just because guess what, y'all? That's what it is. Does that make sense? Yes. Dow Jones, the NASDAQ, all that determines was the economy up or down or did it break even? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, your iPhone, that stock app that you can't even erase? That's right. That you tried to erase when you were trying to get more memory last week? <laughs> and they wouldn't even let you erase it? Right? Mm -hmm. It tells you right there. The reason they don't let you erase it is because that's the key right there. To build true economic empowerment, then you try to erase it to get more memory to put a game on the phone, right? What's the and pictures? that is the key right there, right? Right. And all it, but, but I don't understand. I wouldn't understand anything. To understand? Dow Jones, Nasdaq was it what? Up or down or did break, it break break even? even. It was red or <coughs> negative. It was green or plus. And the S and P five hundred, all oh, oh, S and P five hundred. We break it down. S and P standard and poor's has been rating the top what? 500 companies since the late 1960s. Oh, that's pretty Yeah, you know those companies. I, don't, yeah, I think you know about them. I don't know. We have McDonald's, Walmart, Walt Disney, Exxon, Dow, Johnson & Johnson, Microsoft, Google, Coca-Cola, Apple. Oh, yeah, I know those. I know you do. you part of the reason this could average 10.4% for the last 30 years. Really? Yeah, the bank is paying half a percent. Your child got to be 144 years old before the 10,000 goes to 20. <laughs> True. True. You just got to make it what? Simple. You say, man, that's all it is. That's all it is. But that's why you need to get with me. See, we take stuff that is complicated or is made to seem complicated to make it what? Simple. 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 So economic empowerment, right? But then the next part is, I saw an opportunity because you know, Bill Wood was making a quarter million dollars a month. $250,000 every 30 days. <laughs> okay? 
$62,500 every week. Does that make sense? Okay. I'm breaking it down so y'all can get it in all kinds of different ways. Okay, now think about this. I realized I could make some money at it. And then the third thing that I got was the opportunity to own it. I could own it. I saw I could own it. That's why I joined Primarily, y'all. Those three things. Could make a difference, could make some money, I could own it. That's why. That's why I joined. I think that that's why most people, most people would join. One of those in some capacity. Does that make sense? They can make a difference. They can make some money. Now, they might not see themselves making, most of them won't see themselves making a lot, like a like million dollars a year, but an extra $1,500 a month, <coughs> they can see that. That's right. $2,000 a month, they can see that. They make $40,000 a year, we can help them make $20,000 part-time, they're not going to get a 50% raise in their job. Nope. And even if they did, the job can take it from them. Right. Can't take this from them. So, I saw that. Now, I'll be honest, guys. When I first got in, he told me most people go to RVP in 12 to 16 months. To 36 months. 12 to 24 months. That's what he told me. He actually told me 18 to 24 months. I told him, I'm going to make it in nine. Now, the reason I told him that, guys, was not because I knew what RVP was. But if you tell me that most people do anything, I'm going to do it in half the time that most people do it. Because that was my MO in my life before primary. See, somebody asked me the other day, you know, so I mean, I got two RVPs that are just like, I got a senior vice president and a new RVP <coughs> that are just totally amazing. Now, I, I've got some great people with me, okay? Um, amazing people, but two that have just stepped out above you know, kind of the, the, the rest of the crowd. Does that make sense? Yvette Henderson, who was the first recipient of the Virginia Carter Award, she's a $350,000 earnings RVP. And then um, a young man that's been with us for not even two years yet, Eugene and Porch Lazard, who uh, will end up breaking the first year income record uh, for a regional vice president in their first year. They went to RVP in 12 months. Uh, got to the point where they were running a $70,000 base shop that was recruiting 50 people in the 11th month. He made $100,000 in my base shop. In the first six months, he was part-time. So he was part-time, and he got to where he was making 10000 a month part-time, came full-time. By the end of the first year, he had made over $100,000. All right, six months part-time, six months full-time. He went to RVP after 12 months. And he currently has been a regional vice president for seven months. Going, this is his eighth month as an RVP, and his rolling twelve income is two seventy. Mm. Mm. He's at two seventy right now. He's only been here for twenty months. This Jeez. is twentieth month, mm. and his rolling twelve, not his total income made, what he's made over the last twelve months is two seventy. The record is three thirty five, so he'll knock that one out of the water. All I need to do is make $30,000 a month for the next. And think about that. The fact that I can sit here and tell you that he hadn't been here for two years, and all I need to do is make $30,000 a month for the next four months, that alone tells you this opportunity is ridiculous. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. In the last quarter of last year, he made $100,000. <laughs> he hadn't even been here a year and a half at that point. So, guys, the same opportunity that he has is the same opportunity that what? I you have. have. You have. But he's just working. Like, at a, at a level that I have not seen anyone work before. He's 31. He just turned 32. Just turned 32. He got in at, uh, actually, I'm sorry, he is 31 because he got in at 29. He's married, one child. And, they, and he got one on the way. And so, you know, uh, those are the reasons why I got started for America. And I ended up going to regional vice president in nine months, nine and a half months. I went out doing what at the time was number one in the country, 35,030 recruits um, in my eighth month in the business. Uh, went to RVP 